Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jeff. This is a set based on games and tournaments. Uh, it says that um, there are six teams. They played in a football tournament and we are given some data which is partially filled. So we are given the number of matches played for each of the teams which is nine for all. One draw lost and goals for against for the teams and points scored. So it is given that each win results in three points draw one point and loss zero points. Now we have to answer these questions based on this information. So the first question is what is the total number of goals struck by the Gujarat Titans? Okay. Now this value how will we figure out is we should know that goals for and against the total should be equal. How? Let us say there are two teams A and B. They play a match and the score line is 3-1. So 4 will be 3 for A and 1 for B. But against will be 1 for A and 3 for B. So total turns out to be 4 and 4 each. So that is the total number of goals hit. So this we need to equate. So if you add this, this is 26, 34 and 21, 55. And this comes as 10 and 10 plus 22, 32, 40. So this is 40. So we need to put this value. So this value turns out to be 15. Okay. So the answer is 15. Next question. How many matches ended up in a draw? Okay. So how will we find the number of matches that ended up in a draw? And uh, we need to find the next question also asks how many matches have Delhi Capitals and Punjab Kings? lost together. So we need to find the win draw loss for each of these teams. Now for some of the teams it will be easy because 3 plus 1 4. Okay so this will be 5. 4 plus 1 5. So this will be 4. Okay and this is 3 plus 2 4. So this will be uh, 3 plus 2 5. So this will be 4. So 9 9 matches for all. We can find the points also. Uh, this is 9 points. 9 for 13 points. So this team ends up in 13 points. Now we have to find for uh, these two teams the number of wins. How do we find the number of wins for these? We are given 9 points and 3 draw matches. So each draw match gives 1 point. So that means it has to have 6 more points. 6 more points means 2 wins. So there will be two wins and as a result, four losses. Now coming to Punjab Kings, there are five draw matches. So that means we need nine more points. That is equal to three wins. So Punjab Kings will have three wins and as a result, there will be one loss. Now uh, we have to find one of the questions is Delhi Capitals and Punjab Kings lost together. So we do not know this value. Now consider one more thing that let us say if there is a match, it results in win loss. Okay. So win is counted as one loss is also counted as one. If it is a draw, so that in that case, draw is counted as two. Now whatever matches end in win and loss, it will be in, in the category of win for one team, loss for another team. So that means this total should be equal to this total. So total wins equal to total losses. So we have 4, 6, 10 and 16 wins. So there should be 16 losses also. Okay. Now if you get 16 losses that is 6 and uh, 6 plus uh, 1, 7, 9. So this will be 7 losses. 7 losses means 1 draw because total 9 matches. So 3 plus 1, 4 points. So this table is complete now. Now many of you might answer, might total this and get the answer like this. 6, 9, 13, 18, 22. Some of you might answer that there are 22 matches that end up in a draw. But that is incorrect. If there is a draw match, then it is counted as 2. Because I mean, let us say there is a draw match between Delhi Capitals and Gujarat Titan. So you will put one here and you will put one here. So instead of one, you will get double the number. So instead of 22, you divide it by two. So you get 11 matches. So 11 matches ended up in a row. 
Now, if you have to find the number of matches also, see this, if we add these, uh, these add to 54, but each match involves two teams. So that means total number of matches is 27. So there are 27 matches in which win-loss matches are 16. So this column should match with this column and draw matches is 11. And that is you total this and divide by 2 to get the number of matches that ended up in our draw. So this is 11. Next question, how many matches have Delhi Capitals and Punjab Kings lost together? So Delhi Capitals has lost 7 matches and Punjab Kings has lost 1 match. So total 8 matches. What was the result of the match between Punjab Kings and Mumbai Indians? Now, Mumbai Indians has won 4 matches, drawn 4, 1 lost. Punjab Kings 3 wins, 5 draw, 1 loss. Now, each of these teams have played 9 matches. Okay. Uh, now, we do not know against which team they played how many matches. Maybe Delhi Capitals played 9 matches, might have played 1, 2, 2, 2, 2. Right. Or it could be 3, like let us say they might have played 3 matches against these and no match against this. So, no such information is given. We are not given that each team has played exactly once or at max so and so matches. So, even if there is one match only, we cannot find out that what is the result of that match. Because no such information is can be figured out from this. So, the answer is can't be determined. Teams are ranked according to their points. That is, team with maximum point is ranked 1 and so on. In case of a tie, each goal for is given 1 point and each goal against is given minus 1 point. And then the teams with the maximum points is chosen, which team stood second. Okay. Now, if you see this, this team is clearly the first Mumbai Indians. Okay. Now, there are two teams which are tied on 14 points. One is Punjab Kings and one is Gujarat Titans. Now, what we will do is we will use this information goals for minus goals against to find out that which is that team which will be second. So now if you see this Gujarat Titans, this is 15 minus 9. So there uh, this uh, the difference is 6 and if you look at Punjab Kings, it is 11 minus 7 which is 4. So that is why this team will be second and this will be third. So second team is Gujarat Titans. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.